Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom sized HDPE mold for your resin castings out of scraps. Let's go. I make several different sizes of silicone molds, pin blanks, bottle stoppers, handles, duck calls, all kinds of stuff. And I get requests to make specific sizes of molds all the time. It's just not cost effective to do a one off for me or the customer. So today I'm going to show you how to take scrap plastic and then make your own size. I make these silicone molds uh, different sizes. This is a carrier to go in a five gallon pressure pot. It goes on there like that. It's made from HDPE plastic. I'll put a link to the Amazon links for the plastic below. But I make this stuff and then I come up with scraps like this. We're going to go ahead and make a knife scale mold and see how easy it is. I'm going to show you how to thread this stuff. So let's just stop talking and get up to the shop. This is half inch thick HDPE. You can tell it's exactly half an inch. So I want this to be two inches wide on the inside, six inches long. So that means this needs to be three inches by seven inches. And I'm gonna use this excess over here for the ends too. You'll see that, I'll just go through and make all this stuff real quick. Here we go. One way to do this is where we're not having to measure. These ones go on the sides, but we can do like this. And that'll take up the space on both sides. And then make us a line here, and then we can cut it kind of fat and then sneak up on it, I think. One thing we need to talk about is one of these is the edge that we cut and one's from the factory. Uh, you want to have the factory edge uh, going down towards the flat surface here. Uh, you could do it either way, and we're going to put some hot glue on this anyway, but just to make it a better fit, use your factory edges towards each other. Like if you would have cut this up here with just a handsaw, it wouldn't matter because it doesn't need to go flush to that. So I am going to uh, drill and tap, and we're going to bolt this together, so we kind of need to come up with a plan. I just need a couple of bolts in each in the long sides so i'm going to go ahead and put a line in here and a line right here so we kind of just have a plan but you also need to know we're going to have a bolt over here somewhere so we want to have this bolt away from this bolt so they don't try to touch each other behind the lines so i'll try to do this a little bit better so you can see looks like we have a plan i'm going to start drilling i'll show you what i use this kit right here has the appropriate size drill and a quarter by 20 tap. And we're just gonna go ahead and use this stuff. I'm gonna clamp this together real quick and that way we can't mess it up. I really wanna show you that anybody can do this. So I'm just gonna do this with a drill. I'm not gonna do it with a drill press or guides or anything. I'm just gonna freehand this. I mean, I actually have a CNC machine, but I really want you to know that you can do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead everywhere there's a line, I'm gonna drill a hole and make sure it's deep enough that I can get threads and a bolt in it. Make sure the drill bit goes close to the center of this, as long as it don't go through. And even if it does, we don't really care. So we're trying to go like this. We've got a dog barking over there. Shut up! This freaking dog. I know I already made lines, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this easier. So I'm gonna put a one and a one, two. All I'm gonna do now is everywhere that needs threads, I'm just gonna go ahead and run this, this tap into there. And it kind of just fits in there and straightens itself up. See how that head is right there. And just run it in there and run it out. I'm going to do that on every one of these holes. We're going to have threaded holes right here and these other ones, the bolt just needs to go through it. So we need to make these holes bigger. And I have a 1764 and I'll just go through and hit all these and I'll show you what I really want is for a quarter inch bolt to slide through. 
And that's it. That's what we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this drill bit, run this drill bit through all of these. So now everywhere that you drill is gonna have some, some plastic coming through. You can see that it's protruding through. It's not gonna seal right there when we put the plastic together. So all I do is get you a sharp chisel and knock that off of there. I'll do it to every hole. So all we need to do is kind of line this thing up. If for whatever reason we didn't have it clamped straight or whatever, and it doesn't kind of want to go in there, you just wallow out this hole and then uh, make it fit. So we'll get all these in here loosely like this. And before you tighten them all up, get them all, get them all in there and, and thread it in and then you tighten them up. I'm going to do that. All of these went in very well and I'm gonna go ahead and clamp them down first and then clamp the sides. So let's go in here and tighten them up. And if we got any gaps, we might be able to adjust it just with widening the holes or adjusting things. I think this will be okay though. So we can look through here and see if we have any weirdness going on or something not set and flush. I think this right here, I don't like that right there. I think everything else looks pretty well. So I'll show you how to fix that. Kind of glad it did that. So I'll take this one back off. So all we have to do, put that drill bit back in there and kind of lean it towards one side or the other. And I'll do both sides while I'm here. I'll even do the one on the bottom a little bit. Not as much. Make sure I have a clean surface there. I do. Clean these off. I'll just clean that out like that. Easy peasy. Do the bottom first again, and I'm gonna push that down and tighten it. Same here. Bam. Can't see air through there anymore. We're gonna go and do the last final step on this. I took all that blue marker off with denatured alcohol. As you can see, I did not index all these to where they're the same so this thing see how that's lower than that that's way high that's low this thing's only going to go back together one way and when you do your castings you're only going to need to take one end off and tap it and get your cast out if you even need to do that so so there's that one thing i do is even though i don't see any daylight through these i'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue hot glue is cheap Resin is expensive, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these seams in. Now I'm 100% sure that this thing's not gonna leak and I will use this doing some resin casting on my next video. And until then, go over here and look at this video over here. I'm gonna do some mold making over there. See you next time.